Welcome to my garden. This is my square foot garden. Based on the New York Times bestseller gardening book by Mel Bartholomew. No tools, no digging, no weeding, no kidding. Do a little warm composting, have our compost ready for each time we replant and the worm tea to fertilize. This box has flowers. We like to beautify the garden. And we have some um, started carrots, beets, and radishes as we enter in. Now these first three boxes that you see here was what I originally started with four or five years ago. And it was just surrounded by mulch and then the lawn, which was always tricky having to mow around. And that's when we got the idea of just taking the whole side of the yard and making it into a garden. In the corner you'll see a prop that we had for a Christmas play we did in the church with some puppets titled Born in a Barn. Now my first box here is 12 inches deep. That's what you want to grow your root vegetables in, like carrots, beets, onions, turnips, potatoes. Here we have turnips growing, beets, lots of carrots. We like to juice carrots and eat lots of salads, so it's, it's good to have plenty. Let's see. The nice thing about this is, is you don't have to pull everything at once. You just come out here as needed and pull out what you, what you want for your salad or your dinner. And let's see, we have a beet. We can take it in the house as we go. Now you can either make use of your beet greens or compost them. Let's see what we have. Any turnips? Look at those. Can you see that? Let's grab this one. There we go. Wow. Perfect. Great for a soup. Now this next box has kale. Kale is a superfood. We use kale for juicing. You can make salads with it. Kale chips. There's red cabbage coming in. Some arugula, leeks, more kale, Got some broccoli coming in, leeks, and more kale. Some lettuce, red leaf lettuce. This, a lot of this lettuce has been picked, and here you see we have some new seeds starting. And our irrigation system is running. This is new to us this year. We didn't always have that. Jackson, say hello. Jackson, say hello. Hello. The dogs stay out of the garden pretty much as far as eating anything, except for tomatoes and strawberries. So you always have to grow enough for the animals. So you see the irrigation system runs in the back of the boxes through PVC, and then the hosing goes down the center of each box. So you see we have big heads of cabbage. Just made fresh coleslaw today with all the ingredients from the garden. 
raw foods are beneficial to your body because they offer to you enzymes that are very alkaline with some radicio. Now I like to put some weird things in the garden, things that you normally wouldn't see or eat, like ornamental kale. It's always a conversation piece. Well, this is my herb box. This originally was a tabletop uh, box for my herbs. We had it elevated. And when we redid the garden, we decided to go ahead and drop it onto the ground. And you see we have oregano, thyme, oh, if you could only smell, heavenly, the rosemary, sage. The rosemary smells good, right Jackson? Mm -hmm. Parsley. Just a pretty flowering herb and another one, basil, some dill. Now no garden isn't complete unless it has a tree in the center of it. So we have our key lime tree. It's nice to spend lunches out here and reading a book or something. Now this year we decided to put our tomatoes in pots. So I have 13 pots along the fence with 13 different varieties of tomatoes. And uh, you can see over here too that there is an irrigation. There's a tubing running to each pot so that each pot individually is being watered. And no water goes to waste that way all over the ground and it protects the leaves from too much moisture. And we have our irrigation running again. And there, our fifth box is again a deep box, 12 inches deep. All the others are six inches. And here you can clearly see the grid. And the grid is made out of fur strips and it's not a square foot garden if it doesn't have a grid. So let's see what we can find in our carrots. Oh, do you see what I see? Look, I'll try to help you out here. Look at that. Let's pull it. Oh, I think we're gonna pull two. Okay, three. Sometimes it's a mystery, your carrots. If you don't thin your seeds properly, they tangle and grow amongst each other. But still good for juicing and eating. Delicious, look at the orange color there. I guess they split a little bit, probably could have been pulled a little while ago. Mm. In the sixth box, lots of lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce, and more lettuce. We have some like romaine, and a leafy green one, and a red leaf. Arugula. This is basically where I come when we have salad. And more and ornamental stuff. And the last box again, we have some flowers growing in it, just starting to bud. Inspired in New York City, they grow a lot of this ornamental uh, kale, cabbage. Um, probably about four weeks ago, this one was a vibrant pink, but they're about ready to be pulled. Very pretty. 
Um, just about done with the broccoli, as you can see here. I've cut that off. Have a couple heads left. And we eat the broccoli. And then I come out and I cut some of the stock down. And that's delicious and juice. So we juice it in our cucumbers. We like to compost. Give you a little sneak peek of what's in here, besides some flies. Mm. Any of our trimmings and stuff we throw in there, and then we can compost into our garden later. This is a tomatillo plant. Kind of looks like a tomato plant. Look at all the buds. And there you have the, the start of the tomatillos growing. Here we have some mint and a blueberry bush. And Jackson's curious. Grace, say hi, Grace. Hello. Grace was a rescue. We found her at the bank right after the 4th of July. So we have our vegetables here. Looking pretty. And the last thing I want to show you is how we set up the irrigation. Right here. So I have different zones. And I simply just turn this one off. And then I can come and turn this one on. And that does the tomatoes and uh, the, the two boxes entering into the garden. But if I simply just want to use my hose, I can turn that one on. Take my hose. And hose the dirt off my vegetables. I could simply cut my greens and put them right into the composter. Say goodbye to the garden. Or I could cut them up and come over here show you and feed the worms mm. I certainly wish at this time I had my little rake but I'll use this leaf to show you all the worms look how happy they are it's nice and warm see that I hope you enjoyed my tour of my square foot garden.